Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a square root of 2 plus square root of x is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here first we need to eliminate square root from left hand side. For this we need to take the squaring on both of the sides and it will be written as in this form and this is equals to 2 square. And in the left hand side we need to apply here the nice algebraic formula so according to this formula we write these terms as, as square root of 2 and its whole square plus square root of x and its whole square plus 2 times of uh, square root of 2 into square root of x equals to 2 square equals to 4. And now here in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications here and it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we get 2 plus this 2 and this square root are gone and we get x plus here we need to combine the square root of these two terms and it will be written as 2 times of uh, 2 into square root of x is equals to 4. So because we uh, our target is to eliminate the square root sign so for this we need to move all the other terms to the right hand side and it will be written as 2 times of our square root of 2x equals to this is 4 and this is minus 2 and minus x these are positive terms and here you get these are negative okay uh, so uh, we obtain 4 minus 2 becomes 2 minus x and in the left hand side we have this is 2 times of uh, square root of 2x. <coughs> And now here in uh, order to eliminate this square root sign we need to again take squaring on both of the sides uh, and you see here uh, the square of 2 becomes 4 and the square of uh, square root of 2x equals to 2x because this two and square root are gone and you get 2x and the square of 2 becomes 4. And here in the right hand side we need to again apply the algebraic formula and it will be written as 2 square plus x square minus 2 times of 2 into x and now uh, we need to uh, add or subtract the like terms and we have this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8x equals to this 2 square equals to 4 plus x square and this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4x and in the next step we need to move this 8x to the right hand side and it will be written as x square minus 4x this is plus 4 and when we move this term to the right hand side it will become minus 8x and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, we again uh, we need again some more simplifications and we have x square minus this is minus 4x minus 8x becomes minus 12x and this is plus 4 is equals to 0. So you see here this equation will become quadratic equation in x variable and here I can apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation. Uh, so first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 12 and c equals to 4. And uh, we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. <clears throat> so this is the, our quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of a, b and c here. So when you put the value of b it is minus 12 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 12 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 12 and minus 12 square becomes 144 minus this is 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1. And now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as <clears throat> x is equals to 12 plus minus this is square root of 144 minus 4 times 4 becomes 16 uh, and 144 minus 16 is equals to 128 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to break uh, the term inside the square root sign and we have this is 12 plus minus here you have 128 so we break it as 64 multiplied by 2 and it is divided by 2. And now in the next step we need to uh, break the square root sign and we can apply this square root separately on both of these values and it will become x is equals to 12 plus minus. We know that a square root of 64 equals to 8 into this is square root of 2. 
and at the same way we can just break this fraction and we apply these two separately on both of these values in this way you see here this is 2 times of 6 becomes 12 and this is 2 times of 4 becomes 8 and we get here x is equals to 6 plus minus 4 times of square root of 2 so these are the two values of x uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify these two values of x is these two values of x are satisfied over a given question statement or not so uh, for verification uh, first we need to copy down the given question statement it is square root of 2 plus square root of x equals to 2 and here we put the positive value it is 6 plus 4 times of square root of 2 and here we put the negative value it is 6 minus 4 times of square root of 2 and now we need to uh, first we can verify uh, the term in the left hand side uh, so here we put this value of x here and it will become square root of 2 plus square root of the value of x is 6 plus 4 times of square root of 2 is equals to 2 and here we need uh, to simplify the terms uh, now we need to uh, com make the completing square inside this square root term so for completing square we break these values as in this form we write this 6 as 4 plus 2 and plus this is uh, 4 times of square root of 2 and here we check that is this equals to 2 or not so uh, for completing square we need more simplifications inside the square root sign and now we can write this 4 as 2 square plus we write this 2 as square root of 2 and its whole square plus we write this 4 as 2 times of 2 into this is square root of 2 and here we check that is this equals to 2 or not okay now you see here uh, this will becomes a square plus b square plus 2 times of a and b so when we combine uh, these terms so it is equals to 2 plus square root of 2 and its whole square and now we check that is this equals to 2 or not so this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here square root of 2 plus 2 plus square root of 2 is equals to 2 you see here this 2 and this 2 are gone and when you add these two values it will become 2 times of square root of 2 is equals to 0 and you see here these two sides are not equal anymore uh, so uh, it means that uh, the value of x is equals to 6 plus uh, uh, 4 into square root of 2 is not satisfied the given question statement uh, so this is the our uh, extraneous root okay uh, because it is not satisfied the given question statement and now here in the next step we need to verify uh, the second value of x and now we can put uh, this value of x here and it will becomes uh, so now we can just verify this value and put this value here it will become the square root of 2 plus square root of this is 6 minus 4 times of square root of 2 and here we check that is this equals to 2 or not so again we can apply the same process and we can just again make the these term into the completing square form uh, so here i can just write uh, directly uh, the completing square form of this term uh, is written as in this form this is 2 minus square root of 2 and its whole square and it is equals to 2 or not this is our claim so this 2 and this square root are gone and you get here square root of 2 plus 2 minus square root of 2 is equals to 2 or not we check it we check that this is the negative and positive term are gone and we get here 2 is equals to 2 this shows that uh, the value of x is equals to 6 minus uh, uh, 4 into square root of 2 is satisfied this equation so this is the our solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos